once you realize it, and you have to realize it, you gotta call yourself out. Addressing it is very small. It's, it, like, it doesn't go from like one morning, I'm this way, next morning I wake up and presto, the, you know, five steps to greatness. No, it ain't that <laughs> brother. You read my book, this is hard work. It's every day, like, like right now. I had to be honest with you, man. I'm even shaking right now being on this show. I'm a big time introvert. How you address it is you face it. You face it every day. You face it every single day of your life where you say, okay, like if you're fat, you need to lose weight. It's patience. It's patience in this fact of accepting who you are right now. I'm fat, I don't like myself. Accepting the fact that if you lose three or four pounds, that's a huge accomplishment. You have to live in your own fucking world. You cannot judge yourself. That's why social media and all these things are horrible. You can't judge yourself off of the so-called competition that we have made up in our mind. The things that, how people look, how people act, how smart someone is. This is a race that you run completely alone. And you're all by yourself. I had tons of sticky notes all over my mirror. It wasn't like, be better than John or be as fast as whoever. Okay, David, yesterday you did this. Today, our next goal for the week is this. So I had a year goal, weekly goals, daily goals, hourly goals, and the big goal was I lied a lot growing up. I wanted to be accepted. One goal was, let's go one day without lying. Let's go one day, and then when I would lie to somebody, I would say, hey man, now go, I had to go back now and apologize and say, hey man, I lied to you. You know how hard it is to go back to somebody and say, I lied to you? Hey man, you know what, back there, I lied to you, dude. I, I, that was really jacked up. So I figured out these ways of total, total accountability. Like right now, I had to run this morning before I talked to you, because why? That's what I'm about. I'm about mind, mat, body, fitness. A lot of folks talk so much shit about, hey, I'm gonna change your life. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Are you accountable for what you're doing? Are you accountable? And I mean to the T for what you're saying. I am. And that's where it started. It started with that total, total accountability of let's not lie today. Let's tell people the truth about who you are. And when you can get on and tell someone like I'm doing right now exactly how fucked up you are, that's the goal in life. To put your life on a billboard, on the busiest road, in the busiest highway in the world and say, this is how fucked up I used to be. Take it or leave it. When you really sit back at your life and you are in that dark room, and you're looking at where you started from, and you tell yourself, God, dog, man, my, my mom is this way, my soon stepdad got me, my dad beat the shit out of me, I can't read and write to save my fucking soul, I've lied about it to everybody, I've cheated on all these tests. My God, man. And then you put a goal in your mind. How are you gonna feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? coming from the fucking hell you came from. A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these motherfuckers? What if everybody who was fucking way up here started up here and you had, you started with no legs. You had to grow fucking legs to even start walking and then crawling and then running. And then you start passing people with all this given to them. I had to use all this negative shit that was making me weak and horrible as a person I had to use this as the power that now fueled me. I had to flip it on his head and say, hold up. This might be exactly what I need. The darkness is exactly what I need. It's how you look at your situation. And I was looking at it all fucked up. In that list of who you are, what makes you fucked up, all these other things, it goes back to once again, accepting. You have to first accept it before you can fix it. A lot of people walk around, oh man, I'm good, I'm good. No, you're not. You have to accept what you're not. You have to, and people don't want to do that. And that's the only way you can fix it. You have to accept it first before you can go on the journey. A lot of folks never even start the journey, man. They never start the journey because they live in this fake life that who they want to be, they act like they are, but they're not because they haven't fixed all this stuff yet. You gotta fix this first before we can start our journey in life. So that's why I have them make this list. 
You fix these problems, now your journey can begin because you no longer care about how people are judging you. When, when you care more about how someone's judging you, you're gonna stay right there. There's no forward momentum. So, that, so that's the whole thing about that list. Let's say the first one is, you're not the smartest person in school. I had that issue. So my big thing was how I addressed that problem was, I had to sit down, each thing that is wrong with you has to be a focal point. You can't look at this gigantic list and say, I gotta change all this shit, my God, this is crazy. No, you take off the first one, I wanna be smarter. For me, that was my thing, I have to, I have to become more intelligent. I have such a severe learning disability, I, mean, I can't retain shit. I had to now get that one thing and then strategize in that one problem. How can I do this? I'm not gonna learn like you. I'm not gonna learn like anybody else. How am I gonna figure this out? So I then figured out, okay, where are my strengths here? Where are my weaknesses in learning? All right, man, how am I gonna do this? And I figured out a way to do it by just strategizing. So how I learn to this day if I have a big manual to study, I will have to get a bunch of spiral notebooks from the, from the daggone store, and each page, I have to write each page out, maybe 10 times. So there was a thousand page dive manual that I got 18 months before I went to dive school. Most people, I'm not smart, I'm gonna go see if I can pass this test. I realized, hang on a second, I'm not smart. How can I get past this? How can I get through this obstacle? I need to get, I need to acquire this book 18 months in advance because it could take me 18 months to write down each page over and over again to then put it to memory. So when the question came up, I had written that question so many times down in that, in, on, you know, on paper that I can recall, okay, page 71 was where I remember seeing this and I can recall it that way. And that's how I did it. So you gotta strategize on each problem you have in life. Slowly break down that problem. Don't think about all the problems you have, just one at a time. And before you know it, you fix all these problems, but you cannot focus on all of them. You have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. Lies. You don't, you don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie. Or you're too old or you're too young. Of course you're too old or too young. Lie. And there's, you're too busy. Sure you are. And you're too tired, or you're too sore, or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. And the list goes on and on and on. And it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop. So recognize. Recognize. The excuses are not valid. They aren't. They're trumped up. They're conjured up. They're fabricated. They're lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. The truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will stand and the truth will deliver you from procrastination and laziness and the downward spiral that comes with a lack of discipline. So don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is you have time. 
you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. So cast out the lies, burn them down and listen to the truth and live the truth and go out and get it done.